Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we will learn about flex sensor, it is also called as a bend sensor. It is mainly used in order to measure the amount of deflection or amount of bending. So this is how a bend sensor or flex sensor will look like. It mainly has two polar like uh, two terminals as you can see, one we have to connect to the like analog values in order to read, one more we have to uh, provide connect to the ground. So it is a flex sensor with 2.2 uh, inches in length, it has a 2.2 inches. So the resistors of the flex sensor, in, so mainly how it will work means whenever uh, the flex sensor will blend, uh, the whenever we bend that flex sensor, the resistance of the flex sensor will increase as the body of the co like uh, component bends. So the sensor like this will be used in uh, different application like hand gesture movement in order to do, do that or uh, can be used as a zoo sensor, robot whisker sensor a primary component in creating a uh, senate nets of the animals. So in a different application where you want to measure the amount of deflection or bending, you can make use of this uh, flex sensor. So this sensor works by uh, bending the sensor itself as I told. So as the sensor is uh, being fixed or bent, the resistance across the sensor is increased. So whenever uh, the sen sensor will be bending, so at that time the resistance across the sensor will be increasing. So based on those uh, variations, the sensor will measure the amount of deflection or bending. So the greater the angle of bending, the greater is the uh, resistance. So uh, how much our uh, angle is it is bending, that much resistance which will be increasing. So this can be tested with multimeter also. So the resistance of the flex sensor changes whenever the metal pads are now outside of the bend, like whatever the flex sensor it is, uh, whenever it bending, the resistance will be changing that we can measure using multimeter also. So a flex sensor, uh, sometimes we can call it as a bend sensor as I told. So it is a device that measures the amount of bend or angular deflection. So usually a flex sensor, it is made up of variable resistive surface. So the flex sensor mainly made up of uh, some resistive surface, resistive variance uh, like uh, so surface will be contains of uh, resistances. So the uh, variation of resistance will be measured. So the amount of resistance varied uh, that will be like whenever the sensor is bent, that will be calculated in order to measure the actual deflection. So since a flexor sensor is basically a resistor as I told, it mainly has only two terms because it is nothing but a resistor itself. So it has mainly uh, two terminals. So what are the uh, different types of flex sensor available? So depending on the type of resistive material used on the surface of the flex sensor, there are different flex sensor available. So like a carbon resistive flex sensor is there, a capacitive flex sensor, fiber optic flex sensor, conductive ink flex sensor. So uh, carbon resistive type of flex sensor, uh, now we can, sometimes we can call it as a velostat flex sensor also, which is the commonly used flex sensor, that is a carbon resistive flex sensor. So what are the uh, features of this flex sensor? It has a life cycle of greater than 1 million. It has a height of 0.43 uh, millimeter. It has a temperature range of minus 35 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius. It has a flat resistance of uh, 25 kilo ohm. The, it has a resistance tolerance up to uh, 30 plus or minus 30 percent tolerance it has. The bend resistance angle will, will be uh, between uh, like a 45 kilo ohm to 125 kilo ohm. That depends on the bending radius. The power rating will be like 0.5 weight. Uh, like watt power rating it has. So what are the applications of this flex sensor means it can be used in hand gesture movement recognition or uh, uh, medical instruments in peripherals of uh, computer robotics applications in physical therapy or in a virtual like in gaming like virtual motion in order to detect in musical instruments. So there are a lot of application where you want to measure the amount of deflection or angle of deflection this bend sensor or flex sensor you can use. Next we will see how to like interface this flex sensor with Arduino. So it has mainly uh, two terminals as I told earlier itself like how a resistance has. So one terminal will connect, uh, connect to analog pin through a resistance and one more will uh, connect to uh, uh, that is uh, will provide power supply to that 5 volts power supply. Another terminal will connect to a resistance. So this is the simple connection in order to connect this flux sensor. As you can see in the circuit itself I am showing here. So the uh, flex sensor one terminal uh, connected to pin number A0 that is analog pin of Arduino Uno microcontroller and one more uh, end of that uh, flex sensor after connecting uh, connected to one resistance here or 47 kilo ohm resistor I have connected. So one, uh, one more like uh, one, one other another terminal we have to provide a power supply 5 volts 
and uh, one another end of the resistance have connected to ground like that only have connect interface this uh, flex sensor with the arduino so this is the sample code uh, for this uh, flex sensor like uh, we have as i connected to pin number a naught of arduino uno so that i have defined earlier itself after that we will define some resistance values and uh, using this sample code also we can uh, uh, do the uh, like we can uh, interface the, uh, dump this code and we will see the output using this of like sensor it will uh, like it will calculate the amount of bending or any hand movement you can recognize using this flex sensor so thank you for watching the video thank you